and grow. That's why I say, when life brings you troubles, when things don't go your way, just stay positive and everything will be okay. Because the flowers wouldn't grow, no, if it wasn't for the rain. So just stay positive and everything will be okay. Yes, just stay positive because everything will be okay. My team and I are struggling and we might just lose the game. I know that I have made mistakes and I feel that I'm to blame. But there are lessons we are learning. This is the best I've ever done at this game. I can't believe how well I'm doing. <laughs> you might be on your game. It might be going good. You might be playing better than you ever thought you could. You're really in the zone and every move is right. And it feels really awesome to be on the winning side. You wanna celebrate, but don't you brag or boast. Don't you be a show off or the one doing the most. It's better to be gracious, not this, I guarantee. And being a sore winner is a losing game to me. So at the end of the game, no matter how well you play, there's something you gotta say. The game on, and come what may, we can all be winners at the way we play. We can win, we can lose, but what's always the same? You're a good gamer when you say good game. Ah! No, no! Ah, Bella, I was doing so well! You might be off your game and barely getting by. You might just not be winning even though you try and try You just can't catch a break and it makes you wanna scream You're feeling so frustrated you're not on the winning team You might be feeling angry but don't you scream and shout Don't say it isn't there and don't stomp your feet and pout It's better to be gracious that's always my advice Cause being a sore loser is really losing twice So at the end of the game no matter how well you play, there's something you gotta say. The so game on, and come what may, we can all be winners at the way we play. We can win, we can lose, but what's always the same? You're a good gamer when you say good game. Games are lost and games are won, and we're just here to have fun. And there's always another day, so just remember what to say. <laughs> the game on. was a close one. Good game, Bella. <laughs> Good game, Chucky. to Championship Chucky Challenge. <laughs> Team Make Believe, you've advanced into our final round and the chance to take home our grand prize. Uh, are you ready to play? Yeah, yeah we're ready to play. Play. We're here. All right. Munch, as a team representative, this final question goes to you. You may talk amongst yourselves, but please, no help from the audience. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock. Oh, boy. Mr. Munch, here is your question for our grand prize. A year's worth of Chuck E. Cheese pizza, a year-long unlimited play pass, and one medium drink, good with purchase. What is Chuck E. Cheese's middle name? Oh, 
It seems like I should know this. What do you think, Munch? Hmm. The question put before us is regarding Chucky's middle name. The answer will determine if we win or lose this little game. If we can list a list of words beginning with the letter E, I bet between the four of us we'll come up with it cleverly. I bet between, between the four of us we'll come up with it cleverly. Uh, let's see here. What could it be? Perhaps it's education for the things he's always teaching us. Or maybe it's empathic for the way he's always reaching us. Or how about exercise because he lifts the weight so mightily. I don't know, Pasquale, that just doesn't seem quite right to me. But maybe it's endearing for the way he is so dear to us. Or possibly enduring because he's there year after year for us. Perhaps examination for the way he is so studious. I really am embarrassed that the answer is eluding us. We, we really, really are embarrassed that the answer is eluding us. us. One minute left. Oh boy. Um, I think it might be energy because he has a lot of it. Or maybe it's enormous except he's exactly opposite. Or maybe it's enlightened for the wisdom that he's showing us. I hate to say it, Helen, but I think that is erroneous. But possibly it's edgy for the way he pushes boundaries. Or maybe evolution. Did you see him in the 70s? I guess it could be envelope for all the letters that he sent. I'm so exasperated that the answer isn't evident. We're, We're so, so exasperated. That that the answer, answer isn't evident. evident. 30 seconds to go. Oh no, um, I think it might be emo. No, he doesn't seem that dark to me. Perhaps it could be element. Maybe he's not that into chemistry. Or maybe it is engineer. I've never seen him on a train, but maybe it is epic. Oh, oh no, please, let's, let's not, not do, do that, that again. again. Guess it could be emu or electric or emotion. Or maybe it is elephant or a plant or explosion. Or maybe it's emoji like the text he sent me yesterday. We're running out of time, so I'm just going to take a guess and say we're, we're almost out of time. Time, so he's just going to take a guess and say he's esophagus. Really, Munch? Chuck esophagus cheese? Uh, is that not it? <laughs> no. My middle name is Entertainment. Entertainment? Well, yeah. <laughs> My middle name is entertainment for the way I dance and sing. My middle name is entertainment for the fun I always bring. It's entertainment for the great activities we get to do. But mostly it's my middle name because I love entertaining you. But mostly it's my middle name because I love entertaining you. Wait, that cannot be your middle name. Yeah, we get it, Chuck. You're very entertaining. Personally, I kind of liked Emo Chuck. Yeah, and he looked cute in his little engineer hat. No, guys. My middle name really is entertainment. Next, you're going to tell me your first name is really Charles. Actually, Chuck is short for Charles. Oh, Charles. I feel like I don't even know you. It can't be Charles, right? It's not Charles. That's, that's crazy. Pasquale the Chef! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep drumming, keep, keep, keep drumming. Keep drumming, keep, keep, keep drumming. Keep drumming, keep, keep, keep drumming. I am so in the groove, man. You hear that crazy sound and you can feel your heart pounding like the drums. No drama machine here. <laughs> the energy is in them just to listen to the rhythm of the drums. Hey, can you turn up the clicker track? He may not be the brightest bulb in the box, but you got I'm a little drummer boy. Hey, I love a playing the drums like I'm making a pizza. <laughs> but most of all, I love a playing the drums while I'm a eating the pizza. <laughs> Nothing feels neater than keeping with the meter of the drums. I don't need a no metronome. You gotta move your feet when you feel the heavy beating of the drums. I just to follow the beat of my heart. You better make sure your drummer's ready to go, cause it's a bummer when your drummer doesn't make the show. <laughs> are the backbone of any good band. A Ringo got a nothing out of me. <laughs> Drum solo! This is just like playing on my pots and pans in the kitchen. Ooh.
drummer is a rocket, so I'm gonna stop and talking about the drum. Keep drumming, keep, keep, keep drumming. And by now I can tell you that I shouldn't have to sell you on the drum. Keep drumming, keep, keep, keep drumming. The rhythm of the drummer is the heart of the song. Just be sure that his solo doesn't go too long. Of his power, there's no doubt there is no instrument that's louder than the drums. Bongo solo! <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. 